Okay, so it happened again. That being, another person fell off the health and fitness wagon. I had a coaching call with a lady yesterday who reached out to me wanting some help. So her story went a couple months ago before the New Year's. She uh, got super motivated, wanted to lose some weight and hired a personal trainer. She went from training zero times per week to four times per week because she thought that's what she needed. Um, and she lasted about a month before she got injured, uh, fell off the wagon, um, really struggled to get back into it now and sort of got a bad taste in her mouth. Now, after asking politely, I found out that she was approaching the age of 35, so she was in her 30s. Now, the reason why I asked this is because her age is very much linked in with actually what occurred. And what I mean by this is that she wasn't 18 years old anymore, and you may not be either. Now, when you were 18, you probably could have trained twice per day, had Maccas for dinner, woken up the next day, feeling a hundred bucks, no soreness, nothing, no niggles, nothing, and you probably could have backed it up the following day. As you're in your 30s and you approach the age of 35, things don't work in your favor anymore. I know it's a hard pill for you to swallow, but things don't work in your favor anymore. And what happens is you actually have to start focusing more on recovery than the actual training itself. You actually have to worry about what you put in your mouth to help you recover from the exercise you're doing. And you can't simply train every single session as if you're in the ring with Mike Tyson for five rounds. Now for most people, this is very much a hard pill for them to swallow. And that being is that I tell them all the time and I remind my clients all the time is that they're not 18 years old anymore. I give all my clients permission to slow down. And what I call is slow your roll and act your age. Now, even though the fitness celebrity on Instagram that you follow gets you to, or recommends for you to train twice per day, it's okay to not follow that sort of advice. I'm going to give you the permission to actually slow down and have some patience with the training stuff and with the transforming your body and with the trying to lose your weight. I can guarantee that if you actually slow down a little bit, have a bit more patience and not worrying about losing five kilos in two weeks, I can guarantee you will stay on the wagon, you will remain injury free and consistent. And in my belief and in my sort of experience, those three things, staying on the wagon, consistent and injury free, is what add up, adds up to long-term results. So I'm just keeping an eye on my dog, make sure she's still there. Jem, come here. Good girl. So if you can worry on those, or worry about those three things, staying on the wagon, remaining consistent and injury free, you will hold on to your results long term, as opposed to losing five kilos in two weeks, getting injured, falling off the wagon, gaining that five kilos back again. Hey, so I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Now, there's a fair chance you might be looking for a personal trainer right now. So what I can do is I can offer you a 14 day PT experience at my private training facility for free, completely on the house. What it is, is you'll come in for the next 14 days, you'll train at my facility and you'll get to experience what true personal training feels like. Then at the end of the 14 days, if you like it, you wanna stay on board, then great. We can talk about what will go on and what will happen if you are a future client. And if not, then no worries, we'll shake hands and part ways. So what I'll do is I'll leave a link in, uh, in the description below this video we can click that link, they'll take you to my website. You can learn more about the 14-day PT experience. Apart from that, take care, comb your hair. I'll speak to you soon.